A state police officer who ended up on the other side of the law just quit. He was recently caught on camera putting a repo man in a chokehold. And tonight he told KOAT why mental health played a role in his shocking actions. You need to let him go, Charles. I think he might be a let it go. You need Dramatic to let video him go. and this scary scene in Los Lunas ended up being a wake up call for Officer Charles Vernier. He won't let go of a repo man's neck as a woman screams in fear. Charles, let him go. I will go to your It's time to concentrate on my mental health and getting to a better state in life. To start the process, Vernier resigned from his position as a New Mexico State Police Officer on Monday. It was a hard decision to make, but I've been going through some mental health counseling for the last several months and yeah I'd really need to focus on that. Vernier says he was trying to get his anxiety medication out of the car when it turned into this. He explains job related post traumatic stress disorder started years ago after responding to an accident. I was there for the death of a nine year old child that was a friend of my children and it was something that unlike so many other traumatic events that we see we're able to detach ourselves from. That was something that I just wasn't able to detach from. Now Vernier says he has some major life decisions to make after handing in his resignation. Those are the big questions now and those are big unknowns. Vernier still feels he was doing what he was trained to do and has a message for the repo man. Hopefully if we do run across each other in the future we'll be able to communicate a little more effectively. Vernier says he has no bitterness or animosity toward the New Mexico State Police and he is grateful for the opportunity they gave him to get better. He's not sure if he'll stay in Los Lunas.